Hi guys, this is Marinko from TradeMate Sports Software and uh, welcome to another video from myself. So this video is going to be a bit different than the last few videos I made on YouTube where I would basically be taking you through my overall results with all the soft bookmakers that I've been using or my individual results on some sports or odds types. Um, in this video I've started up a whole new account that's uh, going to be dedicated only to betting on the Betfair exchange. And basically the reason why we're doing this is because uh, we have a lot of people asking us like how is it to use the TradeMate Pro version and uh, how how does it all work, like how is it to bet on the bet for exchange or Matchbook or basically any other sharp bookmaker or exchange. And hopefully this video and uh, the upcoming videos that we're going to make are going to help you to gain an insi insight on uh, how it all is and what kind of a progress and results you can achieve. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. So my starting bankroll for only uh, Betfair exchange is uh, 20,000 Danish Krona, which is around 3,200 uh, US dollars. That's, that's a fine starting bankroll if you're only using uh, one exchange or uh, one sharp bookmaker. But if you were going to use like five or six, which are available with the uh, pro version, then that wouldn't be really a good idea because uh, you would need at least two and a half to three thousand uh, US do dollars uh, for each individual bookmaker or exchange. Uh, so far I've placed 100 trades with an average return investment of 14.7% and my total profits are 1900 Danish Krona uh, which is around uh, 300 US dollars and that resulted in me having a fund growth of 9.5%. Uh, my turnover has been 1300 Danish Krona, which is around 2000 US dollars. And uh, basically the strategy that I've taken up so far is that uh, my maximum bet size is only 1% of my whole entire bankroll, which is uh, 200 Danish Krona. Um, and the Kelly staking that I'm uh, using is going to be 20%, uh, which I've also been using uh, with the soft bookmakers. Uh, that's uh, because I don't handle big loss as well, and that's already something I mentioned. So uh, yeah, 20% uh, Kelly staking has given me amazing results so far, so I don't see why I would change it if it's working. Uh, yeah, so the, the, these are some uh, general stuff and some uh, some basic st stats that I have so far. Uh, the commission I have is 5%. Uh, it's quite high. Uh, I am able to get it down to 2.6% in Denmark, but it's going to take some time. So if you have um, a better account where you can have a commission of 2% or 2.5%, that, that's amazing. The amount of trades you'll be able to get in is, uh, is enormous and uh, you won't have to worry about accumulating turnover and uh, number of trades. The next thing I wanted to show you is uh, kind of my presets. The thing is, uh, I can't really show you the presets that I've been using exactly what are my what is my setup uh, because on the better exchange, uh, I don't really have to worry about uh, getting limited. Uh, that that's not a problem with exchanges and sharp bookmakers. Uh, but the good thing is that I've been able to find all the presets that I need in the big data tool that's available inside the TradeMate Sports software. So basically the way you do it is you type in the bookmaker you want to check um, and you, you basically run like one simulation and see what are the results. And this is the first simulation I ran. Okay, so here uh, you can see uh, you can see the results, and what you would naturally do from here, you would uh, make an Excel sheet like this one, and you would type in uh, all the specification that you inserted um, into the preset, and you would have the simulation done, and you can see how good it is or how bad it is. In my opinion, the sample size and the closing edge are um, two most impo important metrics in all of this because if you had a sample size of two or 3,000 trades, it's not as meaningful as the one that has uh, 10,000 trades. So that's something that you should really be careful about. And of course, the closing edge 
is something that you should uh, look for uh, when doing these simulations. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, be making a lot of these simulations right now because it does take some time, but uh, if you want to bet on the Betfair Exchange with the TradeMate Sports software, it's really is too easy to find uh, good um, presets because in about 20 minutes you can run maybe 10 or 15 simulations, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, yeah, so th this is basically it for this video. I don't have really that much to show you. Uh, I'll be updating you every month on uh, on my progress and how it's going. And uh, I'll see you in the next video when I made some decent progress uh, betting on the Betfair Exchange.